We had a really good question come in via one of our YouTube videos, and that was how do you make a good impression on a new team? Now because all teams are unique, the best way that I thought we'd be able to give you a good answer on this is to hear from a variety of different hockey players. So we reached out to the hockey community, including yourselves, to ask what do you like to see new players do to make a good impression on a new team? Including in this video, you're going to be able to hear from some pro players and also some hockey manufacturers that make some products you guys are going to be very familiar with. So let's take a look at what they have to say and try and figure out what you need to do to make the best impression on a new hockey team that you join. Hi, I'm Rob from Bot Ends. I'm going to play hockey in the USA. The best way to make a good impression on a new team is to be a vocal positive leader. You see a teammate making a good play, whether it's blocking a shot or taking a hit to make a play, make sure you let them know about it. That's the best way to make a good first impression on a new team. Hey guys, it's Pavel Barber here, and the number one thing you can do to make a good first impression on your team is bring your own clear tape. Everyone hates that guy. I mean, bring your own clear tape. But seriously, you can also just be a genuinely good person, support people, uh, and just know your role and put in the work. No one likes a guy who goes around talking behind people's backs, so just put in the work, uh, support one another, and all will be good. Hello, hockey guys. This is Swan, the Swami from Capital Monarchy, Helsinki, Finland. The main point the new team for a new player is to smile and discuss with, with the guys and give good handshake. Thanks. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Eric Schwer. I'm 24 years old. I'm from the state of Vermont. Uh, grew up playing hockey my whole life. You know, started in youth hockey, played all the way through from mites, squirts, bantams, all the way up. Uh, from there, went on, played high school hockey for my high school here, and then uh, played club hockey at the University of Vermont. So I've played quite a bit of hockey, and uh, you know, Chris came to me with this question, um, how to make a good impression on a new team. I think the biggest takeaway there is to be hardworking and show the guys that you're dedicated to the game just as much as the next guy. Um, you know, the hockey community, you sort of build a hockey community around your teammates and when you go in, when you go out on the ice and you work hard, I think, you know, guys next to you are going to are gonna notice that and uh, you gain a lot of respect through that and, you know, I know that every team I was, I was part of, I tried to be the guy that always back checks, you know, always goes in hard in the corners and isn't scared to get dirty. Um, you know, guys see that and guys recognize that, and I think that is the best way to, to create a good impression on your teammates. So, if there's one thing to take away, I think it would be, you know, try to be the, try to be, try to work harder than the next guy in line, and you know, the coaches will notice that, your teammates will notice that. Um, it'll go a long way. So, I think that's the biggest takeaway here. Hey guys, Mike here for Adrenaline. How to make a good impression on a new hockey team? I got two things for you. Number one, your shifts. Always work as hard as you can and don't be the last guy off the ice. Nobody likes a guy who's always screwing up the line. So watch your line mates get off when they do. Number two, grab as many sticks as you can after the game. It may be awkward, but if you can grab a bunch, everybody's gonna definitely appreciate that. And the third thing, the bonus, that'd be the third thing, the bonus, would be to get everybody a power foot. If you do that, you will be by far the greatest rookie ever. Thanks again for asking Chris at Hockey Tutorial. Everybody have a great holidays. Hi there. You might know me. I'm Chili P, organizer of the almost legendary Indoor Pond Hockey Classic in Antwerp, Belgium. My friend Chris from Hockey Tutorial asked me a quite interesting question. How do you fit in in a hockey team? I think the answer is quite obvious. Be yourself. If you love hockey, you'll easily fit in, because that's what it's all about. I've been involved in hockey for almost 40 years. Played, every, played in several places, was a manager, an official, a media person, from Harbin, China to Bangkok, Thailand, from Vancouver, Canada to Erzurum, Turkey, from Novomoskov, Russia to Antwerp, Belgium. And everywhere I met some great people who loved hockey and even if you don't speak the same language, if you, if you speak hockey, you're accepted quite easily. Of course, loving beer might help as well, but that's something personal. I can even say for my own, in my own club, you know, every year people show up uh, in Antwerp as expats 
work here and they look for a hockey team and they were happy to find one and it's easier for them to to, to, to make new friends uh, it's also easier to fit in a, in a team uh, if you're um, if you're playing hockey in a non-hockey country because then you're one of those guys that doesn't need to be convinced of the sport that hockey the greatest sport in the world so don't hesitate and join a hockey team nearby so good luck and see you soon maybe at the indoor pond hockey classic in 2016 fourth edition 22 april to 24 and most important shoot pucks not people cheers hey guys been some hockey sauce cut over here to the biggest thing don't be selfish throw up a couple saucer passes to your line mates make your friends in no time say sauce to my friends I find the best way to make a good impression when I arrive on a new team is to just introduce myself to everyone, uh, be friendly, and you know do a lot more listening than talking. I find that's a really good way to figure out how things work on a team. And um, if I have any questions, just ask someone that I feel comfortable with, yeah, usually the captain. Um, I know for our team, we have to sing a song when you're a new guy to the team. They have to come right in, sing a song, and it's a good way to break the ice. Um, they feel welcome right away. and. It's easy to have a nice little laugh, you know. Um, for on the ice, I feel like you have to just be yourself. You can't uh, change who you are. Uh, sometimes guys try to come in and pass the puck too much because they're really a little bit timid to shoot. And I think that can be a downfall. I think you just have to play your game and do what you do best. Hi, my name is Chelsea Layden. I am one of the goaltenders for the Connecticut Whale, part of the National Women's Hockey League. For those of you who do not know what that is, the National Women's Hockey League uh, known as the NWHL, um, is the first professional women's hockey league out of the United States where uh, where their pay players are paid salary. So it's a pretty exciting deal, and it's um, definitely a good step in the right direction for women's hockey. But um, being fortunate enough to um, take part in the inaugural season, I was asked a question that question was, what is the best way to establish a good uh, first impression to a new team? And to answer that question briefly uh, and simply, I would say it would just be to be the best teammate you can be, um, which entitles working hard, being committed to your team, and giving your team uh, teammates the, the same work and the same energy that you would want to receive from them. I think that being a selfless player day in and day out is the best way to uh, establish and sustain uh, a good impression for your teammates. Uh, and that is it. Thank you so much, and go whale! <laughs> My name is John McAllis. I play for Commander Piranhas. I'm from Glasgow, Scotland. And just be honest about your level of play. I'm sure they've seen worse. And just enjoy yourself this minute. Be fun. It's okay. If you're playing on a competitive hockey team, I think the trick is really to ask questions and then listen more than you're speaking. Uh, you know, when you're the new guy in town, you should really be talking to your line mates, your defensive partner, asking them where they want you to be on the ice more than you telling them where they should be on the ice. You know, if you prioritize kind of with this order of, you know, team, teammate, self, in that order, your team comes first, then your teammates, and then you, you'll have a success for first day. Now, when it comes to uh, rec hockey or a men's league hockey, uh, this is really important. You need to bring a 24-pack, not, not a 12-pack, a 24-pack of beer, preferably something like a Labatt Blue or a Molson, or if you're in America, uh, Coors Light, uh, or, or you know a smart hockey beer for your area, and bring that to the locker room after the game because that's really the way into your teammates' hearts. Thanks for watching the video. I hope it helped answer the question, what you need to do to make a good impression on a new team. A massive thank you to all of the players that took part in the video and also the hockey manufacturers that helped out. Don't forget to subscribe and if you want to find out more about the people that participated in the video, there'll be a link down below to their Instagram and Facebook pages so you can find out a little bit about them or a little bit more about the products they manufacture. Thanks again, don't forget to subscribe and take care till next time. The texter. This is the guy who pauses the game just to text back his girlfriend uh, about every 15 seconds or so. God forbid you go enjoy a video game, pal.